Hi gang, Daryl Davis talking to you about how to design a life worth smiling about. I want to tell you a story as a proud father about my son. You know, when my son was about eight, nine years old, I wanted him to get into sports. Now I'm not into, those who don't know me, I'm not into sports at all. I don't know the Knicks, the Knicks, the Mets, uh, I'm not a real man. And they, that expression goes that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but with my son, I wanted to at least roll down the hill a little bit. So I got, wanted him to experience different types of sports. So I signed him up for uh, Little League Baseball, and we go to this location where he's going to go through a series of tests to see if he should be on the A team or the B team. So we show up, and he's dressed like his father. You know, he's got sweatpants and a t-shirt, and I've gone on jeans and a t-shirt. We walk into this huge warehouse, and let me tell you, it's wall to wall of little jocks and daddy jocks. I mean, everybody's wearing their favorite team. The, the kids who are going through the test, they've got all of the baseball gear on. So of course, my son and honestly myself, we felt a little out of place. So my son looks up to me, he says, Danny, I, I don't feel good. So I said to him, don't worry, Michael, you won't have to do anything you don't want to. Yes, I lied to him, but he lied to me about not feeling good, so I figure we were even. So I go over to the registration, I give my son's name, Michael Raymond, so they say, all right, he's going to do the batting test first. As we're walking over to the batting cage, my son is clearly communicating how he wants to go. Daddy, please, we have to go. I don't want to be here. Now, I want you to feel what he must have been feeling at that time. A lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. So I'm trying to distract him as we're walking over to the batting cage. Don't worry, Michael, let's just check it out. <clears throat> we go over to the batting cage, and in there, there's a kid dressed to the nines, looking like he's ready to be signed up for pro baseball, and he's hitting every ball as it's coming at him. I mean, he was amazing, this kid. Now, at this point, my son, staring at this, is real clear that he does not want to do this. And he says to me without hesitation, Daddy, we must go. <clears throat> so I brought my son over to the side, and I said, Michael, let me talk to you. I said, Michael, you know what I do for a living? He says, yes, Daddy. I said, I help adults be successful in their life. He says, I know, Daddy. I said, Michael Raymond, I'm going to tell you right now one of the number one reasons why adults don't succeed when they want to. And I said, Michael, it's not that they have fear, but fear has them. I said, Michael, I don't care if you hit the ball or how successful you are. I just don't want the fear to hold you back. Now, my son, he's my best student because he looks up to me and he just says, Daddy, okay, I'll do it. So he goes into the batting cage and he swung as best as he could. He hit some balls, missed a lot. Then he did the running test and the pitching test and the catching test. And after about an hour and a half, and he's very sweaty, and he's sitting on the side, he looks at me, he says, Daddy, thank you. I had fun today. I was so very proud of my son at that moment. I said to him, Michael Raymond, I said, don't ever forget this. He said, it's okay. I said to him, it's okay to have fear, but don't let fear hold you back from playing in life. So gang, if you have something that's holding you back, something that you're afraid of, but you know it's important to your success, don't let the, it's okay to have the fear, but don't let the fear hold you back. Just go into the batting cage and just swing. Don't worry about the results. Just swing, baby, swing. I hope this helped you. Have a wonderful day today. Keep smiling. I look forward to talking to you soon.